Next, I'm going to go over the number counter. The number counter is just numbers and just percents with the numbers. It doesn't have the circle count or the bar graph that comes out. And with the number counters, we go into the module and select the number counter. So I'll show you that here. I'll set up a new row. And we're going to go to number counter. And I'm just going to label it number counter title. And then here's where we're going to put our numbers. And we can use this for displaying numbers in a nicer way because these numbers, as people scroll, will start to go up until they reach the number you put in. Uh, if you want it to be just a number, you want to make sure that this percentage sign you turn off because this is the percentage sign symbol. So if you want it to just be a number, turn this off. And then the counter text color, you can change the color of the counter to whatever color you want. So we're going to go ahead and change that one and we're going to go ahead and add a couple more. And a couple more numbers. And then one more. And make sure to turn that off as well. And then we're going to go ahead and preview. Uh -oh. Oops. <laughs> and if you accidentally do that, like you saw there, and put this in, or the title in the numbers section, it will show that. So. Let's go ahead and re preview. And now you see as you scroll down, these numbers start to come in and they start to count up, and you can have percentages that start to count up as well. And then you can have these titles underneath. So you can do a lot of really nice stuff with this new number counter percent counter. And this is the number counter module. And then just remember, if you want a percent, make sure you leave the percent symbol on. If you only want numbers, turn the percent symbol off. And that is the number counter module. And actually, there's one more thing that I'm going to show you, which is going to add a new section and show you this can also be done with a dark background. So just add that, add a row of three. Let's go ahead and make the background dark. And then I'm going to go ahead and make sure that on these, now that I've made that dark, I want to make sure that each of these has the color set to light because dark is black text, light is white text. And then for this, I'm just going to leave the colors the same. So I'm going to put numbers in. And one more. And we're going to go 
the higher number and save. And now let's go ahead and preview again. And now we have these numbers. And then down here, we have R1 of the dark background. And that's how the number counter works.